We're now going to look at the drop arm sign. This test is unique to the full thickness rotator cuff tear test item cluster, but remember those other two there, painful arc and the resisted infraspinatus, are also a part of the subacromial impingement syndrome cluster. Now depending on the source, you might see a couple different ways this test is performed. I'm going to show you here the most common way it's done in a clinical setting. So you can either begin with the patient in seated or standing. I of course have the patient standing right here. I'm going to then take his arm and passively abduct his shoulder to 90 degrees while keeping his elbow straight. Once I get to that position, I'm going to quickly let go of his arm and his job is to keep the arm elevated in that same position. Now, assuming he has a healthy rotator cuff, he should be able to hold that position no problem. But if somebody has a rotator cuff tear, they're either going to not be able to maintain that position and or they're going to have some pain once I let go and they have to activate those muscles. Okay, so first we're going to look at a negative test right here. So I take his arm and I'm going to passively abduct his shoulder to 90 degrees, elbow is straight, and then I let go. That's clearly a negative test because when I let go, he's able to quickly activate those muscles and hold the position, but also he had no pain. Okay, so that is a negative drop arm test or negative drop arm sign. Let's now look at a positive test. So in a positive test, like we said, he's either not going to be able to maintain that position or there's going to be reproduction of his familiar shoulder pain. So here, passively abduct to 90 degrees, elbow straight, I let go, and you can see there there's a little bit of lag. So he is not able to maintain that position. This would be a positive drop arm sign. Most likely, it would also be associated with pain. One other word here on a positive test. If we go back here and look at this, bring him to the test position, and then I let go, if he's able to maintain the position, but he gets reproduction of his familiar shoulder pain, that is still a positive test. Notice that it says inability to maintain the position and or reproduction of their shoulder pain. So despite the fact that he might be able to hold the arm up, the fact that this reproduces his familiar shoulder pain means that there's probably a rotator cuff pathology there. It just might be a little more minor and not producing a whole lot of weakness yet.